uh, we are speaking about uh, the French crisis, I uh, will start with a personal uh, anecdote. I spent uh, my holidays, uh, two months indeed, in Greece and spoke with uh, some friends there and uh, they said to me, a crisis in France? What, 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 what kind of crisis? Which crisis? The pensions are not, are not being cut. Uh, the salaries are in the private business are going up. Uh, what, what kind of crisis? Of course, compared with Greece, the situation in France is very, uh, very different. Uh, <coughs> I suggested uh, the title of, for this uh, introduction, uh, Economical, Political, Ideological Crisis and uh, Metamorphosis of uh, French, French uh, Socialism for uh, three reasons. The first one, I will try to avoid a too um, general explanation of the situation in France. The second reason, reason is obvious. Uh, uh, the president is coming from the Socialist Party. The majority in the uh, National Assembly is uh, uh, from the Socialist Party. So the, the, the Socialist Party is in charge uh, in France. Uh, despite the fact, as uh, Joe said, that the majority is uh, shrinking a little bit, but uh, still, uh, at least it's a relative majority of uh, so -so socialist uh, MPs. The third reason is uh, uh, that uh, facing the crisis, uh, uh, the French uh, socialists, or more precisely, I think, the, the president and the prime minister, are uh, trying a kind of um, um, I ideological uh, revolution uh, of the French left. The tradition of French socialism is coming from, from uh, Marxism and uh, uh, François Hollande is uh, for already for a long, long time, this is a uh, 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 a kind, I would say, scholar of Jacques Delors, is uh, convinced that uh, the French uh, socialism should uh, uh, go in uh, toward a kind of uh, European social democracy. And uh, that's not the tendency of the majority of the uh, members of the Socialist Party, uh, which, uh, uh, because uh, the, I think the majority of the Socialist Party is still uh, very traditional, and uh, there is the reason why we have a, a crisis, ideological crisis in the Socialist uh, Party and in the left. Uh, in France in general uh, today. So first, uh, uh, economic crisis. I give you some figures, but I suppose you know uh, very well the situation. Uh, the uh, economic situation was not uh, uh, good, was already very difficult when uh, François Hollande came to power two, two, years, uh, two, two, two years and a half ago. It was uh, uh, in part a consequence of the financial crisis of uh, 2007, 2008, but also a consequence of the uh, uh, reforms which have not been made before and not be made by the conservative governments of after two, uh, 2002. So, some figures. The budget deficit was 
in uh, uh, two years ago about six percent. We had already almost three uh, million of unemployed people with a very high rate for young people, about 25 percent, and for seniors. And the uh, tax burden for businesses and for individuals has uh, increased uh, about 30 billions of euro during the last uh, years of uh, Sarkozy. So uh, François Hollande started uh, two years, uh, two years and a half ago, with uh, I think two kind of two, two of policies, two two big uh, directions. The first one. Uh, was about uh, uh, the European Union. The idea was that uh, the European Union must uh, change its priorities and uh, that uh, the reduction of public deficit is uh, certainly important, but the priority should be the support of economic growth. And uh, during the campaign, the electoral campaign, uh, François Hollande said, if I am elected, I will renegotiate the Stability and uh, Growth Pact. Uh, the second idea, the second big, big idea, as France uh, itself uh, was concerned, was uh, uh, um, a different kind of policies, what uh, uh, François Hollande called a toolbox. Um, the creation of a public bank for investment, uh, job uh, subsidies for young people and for seniors, was a job uh, subsidized by, uh, by the state, by uh, public uh, funding. A tax increase for wealthy people, but uh, in some way, unfortunately, not only for wealthy people, but for the middle class too. And uh, uh, these increases, tax increases, led to a kind of, of rebellion of the taxpayers. It was a problem uh, particularly last year. At the same time, François Hollande tried to promote what uh, could be called uh, structural reforms, but in a way uh, that is typical for him. It means that uh, uh, trying to make reforms not uh, by Im imposing this reform, but by looking for a consensus of uh, social partners of the trade unions and of the business community. And uh, this is the first uh, priority. And the second priority in making reforms is the order was uh, to seek to accommodate different groups and contradictory interests so that the reform should be as painless as possible. Generally speaking, we could be maybe in the debate be more, a little bit more precise, but generally speaking, this policy did not work. And uh, François Hollande made yesterday uh, a press conference uh, and he said, uh, yeah, the results are not here, but they come. But the results are not here. The budget deficit is still higher as 
promise to the uh, European institution, 4.2 in 2012 and 4.4 in 2014 in this year. And next year it will be about 4.2, so the last, uh, uh, pardon, the same rate uh, as uh, three years ago. And uh, the, thir the three percent, uh, which is the, 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 the uh, um, obligation of the Maastricht Treaty, promised for 2015, will be maybe reached only in 2017. The public debt is about about a little bit less than 2,000 billion of euros, short of 100%. Uh, the growth rate is weaker as expected, than expected, 0 0.4 in this year, one point maybe next year, when uh, one 0.7 uh, has been expected. The inflation is very low, 0 0.5, 0 point, between 0 0.5, 0 0.9, and because of the, the low inflation, the tax revenue are uh, less than expected, about 2 uh, billion euros this year. <laughs> An unemployment is coming up. 500,000 more unemployed people in the last two years. The public spending is about 57%, just a little bit less than in Denmark. The trade deficit is about 60 billion uh, euro compared there is a trade surplus in Germany of 150. So uh, because of this situation the focus uh, uh, at the beginning of this year has a change in the economic policy of, uh, of uh, François Hollande. Uh, the, the, the main goal is always job creation, fights the unemployment, but not, uh, not, uh, or, 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 or not only by subsidizing jobs, but by uh, uh, supporting, promoting competitiveness of the enterprises. There is a shift in the priority of the, of the government. In the next three years, as so a beginning this year, from 2014 to 2017, 17 is an important date because it's the next presidential election, of course. So in the, these three years, <coughs> the, tax, the tax reduction for the enterprises should be about uh, 40 billion uh, euros compensated by 50, 50 billion euros uh, a reduction of public spending of 15 billion euros. But we don't know exactly where uh, these cuts will be made. On the state level, certainly on the regional level also, and in the social benefits. But uh, where exactly we don't uh, up to now we don't we don't know. So the reduction of unemployment, as I said, remains uh, uh, the main objective, but not uh, but uh, now as a consequence of the promotion of competitiveness. So this is the so-called supply policy uh, versus uh, demand policy. This change announced uh, in January is not uh, already uh, up to now completed, but uh, this change has triggered a political crisis. That's my second point. 
Um, a political crisis uh, uh, which has, uh, I think, three characteristics. The first one is a rift inside the Socialist Party. The second one is uh, the success uh, of the extreme right, the Front National, at uh, every, almost every election in the last two years. And the Front National was the first party uh, in the uh, European elections. And the third characteristic is uh, the inability of the so-called, what we called in France, l'opposition républicaine, the moderate uh, right, the moderate conservatives of the uh, Union pour... Uh, uh, Union, UMP pour Mouvement Populaire, hein, Union, Union pour une Majorité Populaire, UMP, c'est the party of former President Sarkozy, maybe the party of the next president, of the, not, not of the Republic, but of the UMP, he will uh, can he be candidate for, for the presidency of the party, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, we don't know exactly. So, uh, the inability of this uh, uh, Republican, uh, so, so moderate opposition, to uh, 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 take advantages of the uh, unpopularity of the, of the president and of the government. Uh, only, uh, f almost only the Front National is pro uh, taking profit of, of this unpopularity. So, since May 2012, so, so since the election of François Hollande, the Socialist Party has lost every election. Every by-election has lost the local elections, has lost the uh, uh, elections for the European Parliament. And uh, because of this change of economic policy I described before, uh, it, the, 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 the left in the, inside the Socialist Party is more and more, let's say, powerful. They were almost always in the uh, Socialist Party different tendencies, from the left, or so, even extreme left, to uh, the center. But uh, 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 in the last months, there uh, uh, appeared a group of uh, about 40 uh, MPs in the uh, National Assembly uh, called Les Frondeurs, I don't know how to say it in, in, in English. So there's a kind untranslatable. of, uh, yeah, untranslatable, a rebellion against the so called uh, a rebellion against the so called austerity policy of the government. I, I say so-called austerity policy because there is no austerity in France. <laughs> As I said at the beginning of uh, my, my, my speech, there is no austerity. And uh, in the meantime, the Communist Party and the uh, radical left and the ecologist has left the majority or are, the mar are now at the margin of the majority. Uh, <coughs> symbol of this political crisis in the last uh, few weeks, uh, François Hollande uh, must dismiss three ministers, uh, exact, m more exactly two ministers and one minister, the Minister of Culture, uh, uh, retired. Uh, 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 three ministers, and among these ministers, the Minister for Economy, Arnaud Montebourg, because the Minister of Economy did not agree with the economic policy of the government. Uh, because uh, he, 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 he criticized the German policies imposed to, to Europe, as I said, and uh, also he criticized the, uh, the austerity policy. Again, there is no auster austerity policy. So, 
uh, François Hollande must reshuffle the government only five months after the nomination of the new uh, Prime Minister, Manuel Valls. And because, uh, uh, as uh, Joe said in the introduction, uh, because of the unpopularity of uh, François Hollande, 13 persons of support, uh, began uh, among uh, the journalists and, and the politicians, uh, not, I think not in the large uh, public opinion, because uh, people are not interested in, uh, in such matters. What, what uh, people are interested in is employment, uh, uh, revenue, tax, and so on and so on. But, uh, uh, started a, a debate ab about uh, first the dissolution of the parliament uh, and even about a new uh, presidential election after a possible or uh, resignation of François Hollande and uh, it's a, a kind of artificial debate certainly artificial in a very harmful uh, atmosphere, I would say, uh, but uh, artificial, but uh, uh, symbolic for the situation, political situation in France. And, uh, and yesterday, François Hollande uh, must repeat, and he says that again and again, I am... I have been elected for five years by the French people, and I don't care about opinion polls. But he must say, I am the president for five years. Uh, what, is, what should be an evidence? Uh, but I think, uh, as far as political, uh, and the economical and political difficulties are uh, concerned, I think uh, François Hollande has two Trump cards. The first one <coughs> are the, uh, is the institution of the Fifth Republic, which uh, gives the president uh, uh, stability and, 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 and power, not only to the president, but to the executive power uh, more generally, the, uh, the government and the prime minister too. And the second uh, card is the possible evolution of the European policy uh, that uh, could, it could be a, a shift uh, 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 in the European policy towards more growth, more investment, with this plan of Jean-Claude Juncker of 300, or the plan supported by, by Jean-Claude Juncker of 300 uh, billion euro uh, investment at the European level. So this shift in the, in the priorities of the European uh, economic <coughs> policy could help François Hollande uh, to uh, solve in some way uh, uh, the difficulties uh, is facing now. <coughs> My third point is about uh, uh, ideology or, or political tendencies inside the uh, Socialist Party, as I uh, said uh, in, at the beginning of uh, this uh, statement. And as, uh, again, the, the, the traditional ideological corpus of the Socialist Party in France come from Marxism. And uh, the party uh, renounced uh, Marxism rather recently. But the ideological basis of the Socialist Party in France is still uh, represented by two pillars. First, economy should be in some way run by the state. So the, the market economy is uh, considered with suspicion. 
And second pillar is the distribution of wealth. Whatever this wealth, uh, whatever means, uh, the, uh, this wealth is produced. And again, François Hollande is not alone in the party, and this is a point of view of uh, Manuel Valls, the Prime Minister, too. François Hollande is convinced already for a long time that uh, this ideological basis is outdated. Not only uh, so as far as theory is concerned, but also as uh, practical policy is concerned. The experiences of the previous socialist government in France uh, uh, shown that uh, the practical policy of this socialist government were totally different from uh, the uh, principles of the ideology. And this uh, kind of uh, abyss between the ideology of the party and the practical decisions made by the leaders when they are in power, has led to a kind of uh, deception of the uh, uh, voters, has led to the discredit of uh, the politicians, and not only the politicians of the left, and led to the rise of the extremist parties. Uh, in France, it's the uh, extreme right, but uh, I mentioned Greece at the beginning. You know that in Greece, this uh, extreme left, which is, pro uh, which is profit, uh, uh, taking profit of, of, the, uh, of the discredit of the main political parties. In France, that's not the extreme left. The Communist Party is just a not, um, I would say, a kind of municipal party now, a local party. Its power is based on the municipalities is governing. Uh, the uh, radical left uh, 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 around uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon did not succeed, but the extreme right is taking profit from this situation. And uh, that's the reason why it is uh, often said in France that the par Socialist Party must go through a kind of bad Godesberg, as a reference to the uh, conference of the Social Democratic Party in uh, 1959 in Bad Godesberg, where uh, the SPD uh, renounced Marxism, adopted reformism, and, and, and uh, uh, supported uh, the uh, European integration. Uh, François Hollande, I think, would like to manage this metamorphosis for the uh, Socialist Party in France, but he must do that against the majority of the party members. And you, you want to do that, uh, as I said for the reform before, uh, without pain, with a, a kind of, of consensus. Because he kn I think he, he knows, and he, he wrote a, not one, but I think two or three books about that before, uh, and when he, he, he worked uh, very closely with uh, Jacques Delors in, uh, in the 80s, nine, beginning of the 90s, he knows perfectly the reforms which must be made in France. Reform of the labor market, um, reduction of public spendings, reform of the social benefits, reform of the education, uh, a little bit the kind of reform that is uh, al always in France the reference is Germany, <laughs> positive or negative is its reference. The reforms made by Schroeder at the beginning of, the, of uh, 2000, 2003, and uh, it's very interesting that uh, François Hollande pressed officially these uh, Schroeder reforms some, uh, some uh, months ago, it was uh, at the end of last year, I think, at the occasion of the, uh, in Leipzig, it was in Leipzig, at the occasion of the 100th 
100th uh, anniversary of the uh, SPD in presence of Angela Merkel. Uh, uh, François Hollande uh, praised the, the, uh, the Schroeder reforms. Uh, well, and the Schroeder reform is a kind of uh, chiffon rouge. Uh, uh, red rag, <laughs> for, red for, rag for, <laughs> yeah, for for the for the majority of the of the socialist party, and uh, uh, the prime minister Manuel Valls, I think, uh, uh, would wish to go even further than uh, François Hollande. Uh, some years ago, he he wanted to change the name of the socialist party uh, into a kind of also for, for a de democratic party like in Italy, uh, in the post-communist uh, for the post-communist party, or, or even <coughs> like in in in, uh, in the U.S. To, or Tony Blair, or Tony Blair, so the third way, and so on. So. But uh, it's interesting to remember that at the socialist primary, uh, 2011, in 2011. Um, Manuel Valls uh, got 5% of the vote among the socialist uh, members, uh, the members of the socialist party, and socialist uh, sympathizers. Sympathize, uh, sympathize. So uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, this metamorphosis would, 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 uh, would mean that the socialist party, the left in France, generally speaking, is uh, accepting the, the capitalist system, but it's not totally the case today. Today, the, the majority of the Socialist Party want to change the system. And uh, to uh, manage a place and a role for France in uh, the globali uh, globalized world, at the same time keeping the welfare state as it is in France. And that is maybe a contradiction, but uh, this contradiction, I think, is at, at the core of the public debate, uh, at the core of the uh, crisis in France uh, uh, today. Thank you for your attention.